Hello YouTube, this is Doris and I'm back with another video. In this video, I will be talking about how I felt when I first started progesterone therapy. So let's begin. Now, I get a lot of questions from you guys and you wanna know, Doris, how was the initial stages for you when you first started progesterone? So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit with you. When I first started progesterone, I was extremely nervous and I was afraid. And here I was with a bottle of Progest, which I got from my local health food store, Dr. Lee's books, and uh, the biomedical literature that I had read on PubMed.com, and a history of PCOS and horrible mood changes during my menstrual cycles. That's what I had. Dr. Lee had this list of estrogen dominant symptoms. And if you've watched my other videos, you know what they are, but I'm gonna also put some in this video, some of the common symptoms of estrogen dominance. I had the fibrocystic breasts and migraines and the mood problems, the anxiety, the fatigue, the concentration problems, everything was there. And then the diagnosis of PCOS, which you know, equals low progesterone because we know that progesterone is made after ovulation. And here I was with this ovulatory disorder. So how did I feel? <laughs> I felt afraid, but I knew that I had to move forward because here I was 28 years old, unemployed, um, unable to care for myself, really needing disability. And just, I just didn't feel good. And I knew that the how I felt and how I was operating and living that I would have I would end up in a mental health institution and that wasn't appealing to me so I would reached my bottom prior to starting progesterone I tried other things to manage my symptoms there was a period where I played a lot of tennis and I did a lot of running and I ate really you know healthy a plant-based diet and those things were better than doing nothing. I did, yeah, they, they did help, but I was still ill. So that was the, the one thing. And I'm glad that I did all of those things because I think those things helped me to recover because outside of the progesterone deficiency, otherwise I was pretty healthy. Even with me eating really great foods and exercising, it still wasn't enough. And I knew that I didn't want to take, you know, any Zoloft or Geodon. I didn't want to take any of those things. I didn't want to use alcohol anymore to numb my symptoms or, you know, any uh, anything like that. So after I was looking at my options, you know, and the things that I did to self-medicate and just, I just saw that certain things weren't enough anymore. And it just became really clear to take progesterone. and. And just reading how important it was for the body and for the adrenal glands, it just made it so much easier. So even with all of this knowledge, I felt afraid, but I just felt like it was something I had to do. And a part of me felt like, you know, oh my gosh, what if this stuff kills me? But then if it didn't work, I almost wanted it to kill me because I was in so much pain. So yeah. I felt like at least I would die a noble death, you know, trying to heal myself so it wouldn't be seen as a suicide. I would be free trying to get healthy. And I had, I had gotten a peace about it. Like, if, if this kills me, I'm okay with it. Because I'm dead anyway, the way that I'm living. So I had to do a lot of um, praying and a lot of reflection on my life and the the choices that I wanted to make and how I wanted to live and what results I wanted to see because I tried so many other things and I didn't like any of the results. So I just said, I'm going to move forward with progesterone. And even though this seems like this really far out thing, I, I trust that it's going to work. It just made sense that the healthy human body makes progesterone. My body wasn't making enough and it needs to be replaced. And that's what I was doing. And so when I started seeing my recovery at that level, this is what the healthy body looks like. This is what my body looks like, you know, with the PCOS is missing out on progesterone. You're supplementing your body with the progesterone that it needs. When I saw what I was doing by taking progesterone therapy, it removed a lot of the fear. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.
Let's change your mind about mental illness.